The World Bank has forecast a huge increase in solid waste in the next 30 years as the global population grows. It also says at least a third of global waste is mismanaged through open dumping or burning. But one charity in South Africa has launched a new environmental cleanup drive that's also helping people hit hard by coronavirus lockdowns. Rahul Radhakrishnan has more. Many residents of the Lorenzville neighborhood in Johannesburg have been losing their jobs because of COVID-19 restrictions. And they've been struggling to afford the basics, including food. But a project run by a local charity has found a creative solution to help them through an environmental cleanup drive. I'm recycling because I'm helping the community. It is important for me because I also got food to help my family because this lockdown is these things are not are not going well, we don't have food. To, so this recycling is helping us to get at least a little bit of food to put on the table for the kids. This is how it works. Residents of low-income neighborhoods collect recyclable materials, such as cardboard boxes, bottles and cans, and deliver them to Love Our City Clean, or LOX hubs, in exchange for points. One bag of recyclable materials equals one point, and most recyclers gather about 35 bags a week. These points can be exchanged for essential goods, including food items. This needles is expensive, but if we collect here, it's helping for children, for school, for lunch. They are taking to school, it's very nice. We are very happy to get this project. It's a sustainable solution that the founders say empowers communities in these trying times. So we're just working on uh, to continue to, yeah, just to make it a part of the lifestyle in the community where we will continue to have a clean community, but also a community where you can buy food with recyclable material and you can buy food with stuff that you normally just get trash or sent to the landfill. Lock sells the recyclable materials to bigger depots and that money is used to fund awareness campaigns and city cleanups. The project is a lifeline for people in vulnerable communities like these, allowing them to work and buy food while keeping their neighborhoods clean. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World.